everybody how are you all doing today welcome back to mama's kitchen today i am so excited because i'm going to show you something really really interesting but before then i would like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers guys i truly truly cannot do without you all i just want to say thank you for you know supporting me thank you for all the likes and thank you for the comments that you put below whenever you watch my movies uh my my videos well it's movies so whenever you watch my my uh, videos i thank you for you know leaving the comments and if you have not been doing that i want you to please leave comments you know when you make comments then i know what i'm doing wrong or what i'm doing right you make comments, you tell me what you want me to bring on board. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. So please don't forget to make uh, leave comments after watching my videos. And also don't forget to like, share, and if you have not subscribed, this is the time for you to do it. So guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my fish roll. This is going to be very simple. I'll try and sh you know, make it as simple as possible. It's going to be simple. And... I'm not going to fry, today I'm going to bake. So, having said all this, if you're ready, what are we waiting for? Come into this kitchen and let's make it happen. Come on guys, let's go. So, I'm going to show you how I make my fillings. Guys, to make fillings for the fish pie, I normally use Titus fish. You can use any other fish of, of your choice. I use Titus and sometimes I add some sardine to it. I mean, this canned sardine. But today, I'm not going to add any canned sardine to this. I'm just going to use Titus fish to make my fillings. So let's go. So ladies and gentlemen, here I'm going to show you how I make my filling. The first thing I do is to cut the fish, you know, wash them, cut them up and put them in a pot with a little bit of water. And then you season with onion, salt, uh, uh, garlic ginger powder whatever you want to season them with it doesn't really matter just season to your own taste and allow it to cook until the fish is soft once the fish is soft you take it out drain out the water and the next thing is to debone your fish but then you have to let it cool down then you start deboning your fish when you're deboning this fish make sure you're really doing a good job of picking out all the bones you see, Titus has this tiny bones embedded in the, in the flesh of the fish. So you really have to be, you know, very, very careful and, um, you know, patient enough to be able to take out all of these tiny, tiny bones. Once you're done with deboning the fish, you start to mash the fish up, just like as I'm doing in this video. Then you put some oil in the pot. This is the time to fry it. And then you add some chopped onions and fry until it is very, very now slightly brown, not too brown anyway. Then you add your uh, habanero pepper, which is optional. I just love my um, fish roll to be very spicy. So I add habanero pepper. And you're going to see me add paprika too, because I like it to be spicy. So then you add your fish, the flaked fish, you add it inside and you mix everything up as you can notice guys you see that i did not use a lot of oil to fry this you just need a little bit of oil even if it's too thick or you know you want it lighter don't add more oil just add water so oil is just minimal you just use a little bit of oil when making your fish pie turn your stove down and let this I mean cook for a little bit and then you add your salt you see the quantity of salt I'm using very tiny quantity of salt you add your uh, curry powder and then there comes my pine you know you're gonna season it just as you want make sure you don't over season it eyeball your ingredients your seasonings don't pour too much salt don't pour too much pepper and here comes my paprika I told you that I like my um, my um, feeling to be very spicy and then I'm going to add garlic powder, I added onion powder, you know, just add all the spice, all the sp any seasoning that you like or that you have, you feel comfortable with.
and then finally i'm adding my maggi cube i'm just using one maggi cube i turn everything tall you can see that this is not really um it's not really uh, moist as you want to as i want it so i'm going to add some water later on when i'm good i'm ready to you know uh, put it inside the dough so for now i'm just going to leave it like this let it cook and i'm going to put it away and get ready to make my dough you see i'm still picking out the bones it's very hard to pick out all the bones from titles but you you try as much as possible to get everything out because the bones are very tiny so sometimes you can't really see them so once this is done you put your filling away i put it away here and i'm going to add some water when i'm going to uh, start putting it into the dough but not now you know but sometimes you can just uh, you can use this uh, the fish like this it's not too flaky it's okay on its own but just like I, I had to add a little bit of water when i'm going to put it inside the dough to roll it up so this is how i make my filling very simple and easy after this i put it away to cool down and i'm going to start making my dough so i have my flour uh, flour out i've already sieved it and i'm adding my baking powder guys don't add too much baking powder make sure you just add a little bit i have a lot of flour here that's why i'm adding about a half a spoon, uh, one spoon and a half and then i added my salt and my nutmeg and then there comes the sugar make sure you mix everything up mix it thoroughly today i'm not going to use my hand to mix so i'm going to transfer everything into the mixer and then i'm going to break one egg i added my melted butter and of course i'm adding my evaporated milk i use milk uh, uh, more milk than water when i'm making my dough So now I put everything in the in the uh, in the blender. I mean in the mixer, and I'm mixing it. And here I'm adding more water and milk. You keep mixing until you get that consistency of the dough that you're going to use. You know, once you get to that uh, to that stage, you will know because it's going to be smooth and easy. You know, smooth and lumpless, and very very uh, smooth. So you bring it out. Uh, knead it a little bit on the counter and then you leave it to rest for about maybe 30 minutes so there it is i'm going to cover it with this uh, film of a uh, uh, bag and then i'm going to you know place something over it and just leave it for about 30 minutes just for it to you know rise a little bit and then after 30 minutes you bring it out and then you knead it a little more and that's when i start to separate it into the number of uh, fish rolls that i want this is not compulsory, but I just do this so to make it easy for me when rolling out, and also to be able to uh, know the number of uh, fish I'm going. I mean, the number of uh, fish rolls that I'm going to be making. So you roll everything out. You roll it out very thin. You know, make sure it is thin. You keep rolling it. Roll it until everything is thin and nice. And you can trim it off on the side if you like. Then you put some egg mixture around it. You know, just to seal it up, and then you roll it up. You roll it up and cut it and trim it the way you want. You see how I'm putting the egg mixture on the side. This is just to uh, help the dough not to unravel when you're baking it. So you put your egg mixture on the edge and then you add your fish and you gently roll it up. Cut off the sides if you want to. I just do that to make it look beautiful, you know. Cut it off or you can use your hand to uh, you know, uh, portion it and then you put it in your oven for about 20-25 minutes and your fish roll is ready guys this is how i make my fish rolls this is how yummy it looks inside the fish is there and i can't just i could i wasn't able to unravel it here because it was still very hot but this is how i make my fish roll easy simple flaky and delicious thank you so much for watching me today i appreciate you guys until next time it's ciao ciao bon appetit and see you later